So in the last few minutes, Andy Murray has been beaten at Wimbledon, losing in four sets on centre court to the American John Isler. Let's head back to Wimbledon now and, and rejoin uh, Jackie Beltrow. Hi again, Jackie. And I suppose for those British tennis fans who've turned up with a plum ticket to watch Emma Raducanu and then Andy Murray, it's not turned out how they were expecting for either, has it today? No, it was a disastrous day for the British fans on centre court and the Andy Murray match, they had such high hopes for that after Emma went out uh, just before him. But this match was always going to be a case of whose serve is going to crack first and the chances were it wasn't going to be John Isner's if he was firing today and he certainly did that. In this match, he fired down 36 aces, the 37-year-old. So Andy Murray always up against it. He cracked first in the first set and he cracked early on losing his serve. In fact, his first serve percentage was only 44% in that first set and uh, it was wrapped up very comfortably by John Isner, 6-4. The next two sets went to tie breaks, so they were really anybody's guess. Uh, the first one went to Isner, the second tie break went to Murray and that kept Murray in the match. It got the crowd going, it got them singing, let's go Andy, let's go. And at that point you thought this is going to be one of his great comebacks, one of his great late nights on centre court. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case because in the fourth set, which he had to win, there were some moments of brilliance, but also moments of slipshod serving. And he lost his serve too, too little too late uh, for him. At six games gone, he had to do something really special. It was almost like a miracle was required uh, and it didn't materialise because Isner did not put a foot wrong after that. He had the break, he had the bit between his teeth and he wrapped up the match by six games to four. It's his first win over Murray in nine attempts, the 37-year-old, and he is going to be celebrating getting into the third round tonight. Nobody wanted Murray at this stage of the competition, but uh, John Isner was pretty much faultless on his serve today. And because his serve is so difficult to break down, Murray had to match him. He almost did, but he didn't. And uh, he is the one going home. I mean, Andy Murray, Jackie, obviously at contrasting stage of his career compared to, to Emma Raducanu. He's provided British fans with some great memories at Wimbledon with the, the two wins and much more drama as well. But he's 35 years old now. He's had such a tough time of it with injuries. In that news conference coming up shortly, do you think he'll be asked questions about what this means for his future and whether we'll see him again at, Wim at Wimbledon? Oh, yeah, 100%. He's going to be asked those questions of whether he can, he can manage it again. Um, I don't think he will commit to anything uh, tonight, especially so, so soon after a match like that. I, I don't think now is the time. Uh, he also has the US Open coming up, and that is his uh, favourite event. Uh, Apart from Wimbledon, that is his favourite event in the whole year and obviously it's an event that he's won before as well. He has had some great results of late over the new uh, top ten players. He's beaten Tsitsipas, he beat Kyrgios on grass in the run-up to Wimbledon and, and throughout the year he has been building and building and building uh, with that fitness and, and getting to grips with his movement with the metal hip and for the first time, you know, looks back to his old self, looks back to, to moving well and competing with the very best as they are now. So I don't think he is going to rush into any retirement statement, uh, certainly not tonight and especially as he is playing you know, he's playing pretty well. It's not like he's been completely outclassed. That match was really tight. There was, there was two mistakes made in that match, and he made them, and he ended up uh, losing the entire thing. Uh, so that's very small margins. So I don't think you can say that just because he's 35, it, it's time to hang up his racket just yet. I could be proved completely wrong, of course, when he goes into his press conference. He could be so gutted. He could say, that's it, I'm done. It is his worst ever result, though at Wimbledon. He has never gone out this early before, but uh, you have to say he, he did give it his absolute best tonight and uh, it, it simply wasn't good enough. He might be kicking himself because of that first set. If he hadn't made that mistake earlier on on his serve, his, if his serve had been better, who knows uh, what story we would t be telling tonight. But um, it's a shame. He, simply, he ran out of time and with John Isner, you can't allow yourself to do that. You have got to stay with him for the entirety of the match or you are gone uh, and he is gone. On an up note, they did suspend Heather Watson's match due to the darkness, but she was well in control of that match, so she has got one foot 
in the third round. And Cam Norrie also um, had an absolute battle today, five sets, and he is also into the third round with, with other Brits to come tomorrow. So it's not the end of the road for the British tennis players, but it is the end of the road for Britain's most celebrated two tennis players. But thank you for finishing on a positive note anyway. Jackie, thanks for now.